In the early 1930s, the performance of multi-engine aircraft designs surpassed that of single-engine ones. This brief period led most air forces to build twin-engine fighters, such as the famous P-38 Lightning. However, engineer Kurt Tank had an ambitious project in mind to create a twin-engine fighter that not only surpassed the performance of existing aircraft, but could also fly long distances, ideal for long-range interception missions. At that time, the German Air Force was seeking innovative solutions to modernize its fleet, and so, together with his team, Tank developed the FW-187. From the earliest tests, the FW-187 showed its potential, standing out for its exceptional performance, particularly when compared to the Messerschmitt BF-109B, the leading fighter of the time. Thanks to its two Junkers, Jumo 210 gear engines, the aircraft could reach higher speeds, making it ideal for interception. In addition to speed, the FW-187 had almost double the range of the BF-109, making it perfect for long-range missions such as coastal defense or intercepting enemy bombers. However, despite these evident advantages, the Ministry of Aviation, influenced by strict economic controls and the need to keep production costs low, decided not to adopt the aircraft. In an attempt to save the project, the FW-187 was reimagined and redesigned as a heavy fighter, a category in which an aircraft capable of handling more complex and difficult missions often against heavy bombers, was sought. The modifications brought the FW-187 to a top speed of 635 km h, an impressive achievement for its time. Despite excellent maneuverability and performance, competition, this time with the Messerschmitt Bf 110, which had already been chosen as a heavy fighter by the Luftwaffe, prevented the FW-187 from gaining approval. Only nine units were built, used mainly for testing and experimental missions. Although the FW-187 was a promising project, with only nine units, it never had the opportunity to fully demonstrate its operational value. Nevertheless, it remains a symbol of innovative engineering and the pursuit of advanced technological solutions during World War II.